What's up everybody? It's Timo and today we're talking about your one job. Your one and only job and everything else is irrelevant. So it doesn't matter whether you're focusing on school, on business, losing weight or anything. You need to have this mindset, the one thing with the one job or the one goal, however you're gonna call it, and that's it. So, you probably heard me talking about writing your own goals and how I have more than 10 and whatever. You're asking me, hey Timo, you said more than 10 and now you're saying one thing? Yes, focus on your one thing right now. So, I've been trying a lot of things working on my YouTube on creating, you know, copywriting and doing this job and doing marketing and local businesses and starting my own business and all of these income revenues and stuff like that. And then I talk with my father and he says, Timo, you're confused. You're like wandering around, trying everything, trying to catch two rabbits or 10, However, however much I was trying and you're not gonna catch any of those so why don't you just pick one knock it off and then choose the next one and then he thought I was going to be like are you crazy how dare you tell me how to well and I was like no you know what you're right like this morning uh, I was thinking about this guy over here and his business structure. And basically he has, you know, three core funnels or ideas or structures or models or however you're gonna call it. And number one is he offers something for cheap or for free to get you into his ecosystem. His main thing is his software and he wants you to use it. And now what he's focusing on is to help you, you know, make money so you can use his software for longer period. And then at the back end, he's selling a high ticket product. So instead of him creating another software and another software and another software, he's creating these courses to help his customers stay and continue to use his one software. So I was like, hey, what if I do something like that similar? Because I have my own customers, instead of selling them something new or whatever, I sell them something that will supplement there. And I was thinking about how to, you know, um, how to keep my customers longer. And then my father and I talked and we realized, no. That's not the goal right now. Right now, the goal for me is to bring customers to the business. And that's it. Bring customers to the business. And I should be doing that for next three months, six months, maybe even a year and just focus on bringing customers. And then later, try to retain them for a longer period of time. But as of right now, I need more customers. You know, I told told them a story after I realized that I figured it out and uh, I mapped it out for myself either in this book below or in my head, map, mapping stuff out. And it's like, imagine you're just opening a store and it's a brand new store and today is your opening day. Should you? focus on bringing more customers to your store or trying to optimize the product placement in your store. And basically the question is, do you want 100 customers to walk inside your store and buy one product or do you want 10 customers to buy two products? It's simple as that you want 100 customers, you want 1000 customers in your store, and then later you'll figure it out how to optimize the store so they can purchase 
more and more product. So over here, I was, you know, optimizing my store without having the store open, without telling everybody in my town that I have a store that is open. So I have my priorities mixed up. You know, my priority should not be to optimize that store. It should be to bring more customers. So how does that relate to you? So if you do have a business, you're working on that, well, you should, you know, focus on that one thing that you think is the most important for you. If you try to lose weight or something, then pick one diet or one workout program or whatever it is, and then stick to that one and don't try to do several programs because they are all different and they all gonna, you know, tear you apart and this one's sending you right and the other one's sending you left. So just choose one, commit to that one. And once I realized this, that I have to focus on getting customers, I realized that everything else doesn't matter. Whatever I'm doing, you know, I'm writing a copy or sales letter or whatever for other people. That's not important. Yes, it makes me money, but it's not important. What I should be focusing is getting customers to my main business, not to my side hustle and everything else just suddenly doesn't feel that important. It's not necessary. And that's your one job is to focus on the main thing, to keep the main thing, the main thing. That's the thing. So figure it out, just write, map it up, do the, do the painting or however you, you know, plan your stuff, your day and figure what's the most important thing when it comes to your business. And for me right now is more customers to my main business and not to my side hustle, not to write copy because I don't wanna do that for my life. So I should not be focusing on getting more people, you know, to give me their projects. I should be focusing on my main business. And that's it. I have to thank my father. You know, he and I don't always agree. And I tell him that like, hey, listen, we don't always agree and I don't always take your advice, but your advice is important to me. That's why I ask you for your advice every time I need something is that, you know, he and I are so different and I need a different perspective so I can recalibrate my own. So he's like a tuning fork for me, you know? Like I have this crazy idea and then he's like, well, let me, it's like a sandpaper, you know, like I have this rock and he's like chiseling and sandpapering or that's not even a word, but I just invented it because that's how great I am. It's just like, you know, polishing and that that's him. He's like the sandpaper, the tuning fork, the polisher, that's his job, you know, and I really appreciate him. But yeah, that's like the most important thing is to focus on that one thing and then everything else doesn't matter, you know, you'll figure it out later, okay? I'll see you in the next one, peace.